Hey everybody, this is Edo4, and today I want to talk about the late and great uh, rapper XX Temptation. I, I said it from the English name because that's what it stands for. Disclaimer for this video, I can't really go into documentary of his life like I did for the Rapture video because I don't really know much about his life and there's a lot of speculation of what he did and what he didn't do. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about how I remember him. Anyway, um, I remember the first time I ever heard him. Uh, it was in 2016. It was during the Vine days when I was called Edo 2. There was this one creator who actually put the song Look At Me on there, which... Uh, that's his most popular song, but that's not the only song that he's known for because he's known for many others such as Sad, Bad, Moonlight, and etc. In any way, from 2017, I made a video where I mixed a bunch of stuff with him of Look At Me. And during that time, I remember it was during the time where he was free and he was like out of jail after probably a lot of run-ins during that point in time. There was a lot of other things I wanted to make, which was a music video for gospel that features Rich Brian and Keith Ape, which the direction was for this video is to have uh, characters that I create called Dogs and Bears, Keith, Ape, and Rich and they would go to church. And it was just like, they would just go wild and buck wild in the church, and that was the whole idea and premise to it. Now, cut to 2018. The happiest thing I saw was, like, he was finally changing himself. He was finally doing new things, and finally even um, getting rid of the old feud with Ski Mask, and that was one of the best things ever. And once push comes to shove the next that year you know unfortunately he died from of a, 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 a shoot drive by by driving his own car and <clears throat> that's when not only like life for, for his fans but like also for me just kind of spiraled downhill because he was like he was like sat like the next version of Pac and it was just sad to look because he had so much to look forward to so much to do so much to face but thankfully now his legacy lives on and although the people who wanted to get revenge on him you know their revenge like they don't live on but he he does like he's the remarkable you know ex man and I remember like one month beforehand when I when I was finally getting my hand on YouTube and this was before I got copyright strike. Next thing that happened, I, I I finally had the guts to finally put the look at me video the month before he died on Twitter. At the time I had Facebook too, but I didn't use it as often as I do right now. So I only just posted on my Twitter. And it's just like next thing I know, like next thing, like out of the blue when I was checking my Twitter, uh, like Rich Brian, a lot of other people, Rich Brian, the, um, 88 Rising, everybody was saying like, uh, rest in peace for X. And I actually thought they were talking about Director X. And uh, when I finally got it, um, when I finally figured out who it was and it, it killed me deeply and I w I've been like at that point I've been like struggling a whole lot because I, a lot of people I like he was really a big influence on me and it was just like at, at that point and even now it was just upsetting to see him like took it down like this like that was like the last thing not just me as a fan but like a lot of people did not really expect and it was like you know I remember the only really big chance I got to really see him was um, during 2017 when Rich Brian was in Orlando. You know, he did the song Gospel. He wasn't really, X wasn't there, but it felt like he was. And it was the only real actual chance I got to see like X and everything. And um, 
again, it's crazy. Like it's been a year since it happened. And I remember being broken down immensely because a lot of other things like from behind the scenes and everything else, like, you know, I was actually in pain and I was just trying to like live this up. But really deep inside, like that's what really hurt me the most. Cause to me, he was like the modern Tupac, and I the the real the the thing I believe everybody wished for, especially me, is that he could at least like live like at least last year and this year at least, just because that's what I just that's all what a lot of people I feel wanted. It's just for him to live. And now, you know, he uh, he's not there, but he had like there's a child somehow that he had. And that's the crazy that's all the crazy part. Um, but, um, you know, I've been trying my best to really keep on. But it, it was it was not it wasn't easy. And um, like I wanted to talk to you about the experience I had to listening to X. He was a really good he was a really good guy. And it was just again, it was a shame to see him, to see that he had to go. And, um, you know, um, I am very grateful that I got to listen. I didn't get to listen to all the songs that I wanted or know a lot of other activities he did outside, except for helping out people playing league and just, he was changing himself. And, you know, that's what I liked is that he was a changed person. And again, he will be not just by me, but by a lot of people, he will be forever missed. And, you know, like God, God bless that he was here. And, um, you know, that just thank you so much, X. Thank you so much for being here on the earth. You weren't there forever. And I think it was upsetting because him and also rest in peace to Lil Peep, they were both on the head of their game. And it was just a very, it's a shame that the like people like this they don't last long you know i honestly don't ever want to see the day like today like if i'm gone like that i know that's going to be the worst day for everybody i'm not really doing this video because everybody else is doing it i like i really wanted to share my opinion and it, it was just crazy just the fact that it's like wow this is the first anniversary when this guy died and i know 10 years ago Another legend also died, and many others like that. And again, you know, like thank, thank you for your service, X. Thank you for being on the earth. I really wish I would have gotten and met you. And I know there's a lot of other people who wanted to be in that circle as well. So the start start out for shout outs goes to my man Spirit. Of course, X Maddox Devound ninety nine, which at D Rebound 99, which is funny because once X died, this is when I have stumbled upon his channel and he's really good of documentary of not only X, but um, um, the Asian rappers in the community and so much more. We have Frejin, Elisis is here, Jasmine and Dwayne, 88 Rising, I Am Dante, Ski Master Slump God, Colt Classic, The Mars File, and also Darky because he was also another person I found and stumbled onto. And, you know, he also just reminds me of X in so many ways. And, you know, check out his music from time to time. But anyway, guys, thank you for uh, watching and seeing, like, a lot of things I post for this and peace. And I can't wait for the documentary to come out, too. Goodbye, and I'll see you all next time. Look, if you're an X fan, you know all he wanted was positivity and wanted to make the world a better place. Yes, I know X didn't deserve it. It was actually X's real fans who were devastated by his passing. But instead of saying R.I.P. X everywhere and being sad about him dying, continue his legacy by spreading his words of wisdom and positivity. Help out in the world. Be positive, guys. You gotta be positive-minded in this situation. X wouldn't want y'all all sad. He would want you to continue where he left off. I didn't really use it as often. Stop right there. That was like one of the biggest things that like caught me is uh is another update I want to add to this video. As you can see, I've been uh keeping it away for a little bit. Um, 
I have now updated this video to be published like here this month for Thanksgiving because I feel it would be more thankful to give the love to X and remember remember him out as he was. That's how I would want to get that's how I want to make this video. I know I've been putting it off beforehand because I've been going to school and also during the anniversary like a lot of people were doing the video and I just didn't want to be like on the bandwagon. I wanted to do it pretty much later so this could be where it's more respectful.